One of the links in this week's lab was a radio reference, and that should bring you right to the Albemarle County or wherever in Virginia you are. I live close to the airport, so I thought that would be a fun frequency to tap into, but you can see there's all kinds of different frequencies and what type of frequency they are, what modulation they are. So I'm going to choose the airport. I had a lot of luck receiving the ground control frequency 121.9. That's an AM modulation. I'm going to go into cubic SDR and hit start. Now my center frequency is already set from doing this prior, but again you can always hover over your frequency, press space, and then enter. My actual frequency isn't here, and it's late at night, so I'm assuming there shouldn't be anything on these frequencies. But you can see there's a couple other things, so if I came over, make sure you check radio reference and add those AM frequencies. In order to adjust the bandwidth, you can hover up here into this frequency spectrum and you can actually manually adjust based on the waterfall. That's the easiest way to get a good range. You can also hover over here and type in a bandwidth that works for you. If you need to adjust your gain, just turn off automatic gain and you can play with your tuner settings. There's other options to play with the squelch and the frequency levels, but make sure you adjust your bandwidth so you get something that sounds pretty good, and make sure you're in the right modulation and the right frequency, and you've taken something off of radio reference and gotten a good signal. One thing to note, if you have your device open in Cubic SDR, it is imperative that you close Cubic SDR before moving into the command line or using any other tool. As far as the command line application for the RTL SCR, this link below from the Berkeley class has a really good driver installation and it also links to this Osmocom uh, website. Uh, here, here's the wiki, and that gives you a lot of information about the tool itself and the RTL SDR that we're using or other similar devices and some uh, example tools that we can play with. To get started, this is the best resource, and I'm going to be doing this in Linux. If you haven't already posted in the previous week, all of the tools are actually built into the Ubuntu repository, so you can go over to your terminal and install all of these. I've already installed these, so if it asks you if you'd like to install them, just make sure you say yes. As far as Windows and Mac, you're welcome to go to the driver installation page and double check there's some Mac ports here and you can also use the pre-compiled library and some of the uh, and the then the command line stuff should be very similar to Linux as far as Windows there's a provided zip here and we should have already installed the Zadig drivers also on the wiki the latest version on the Osmocom wiki is under software. If you scroll down, there is a pre-built Windows right here. So you're welcome to download this pre-built Windows zip, download the file, open with the archive manager or whatever tool you have, and you can use the 64-bit version and run this in CMD or command. Now let's test some of the features and make sure everything is working. Let's use the RTL test command. I'm not going to be using the 
t and we can see right now that it's working and it's pulling samples and it should give me a range gives me my gain values here and it shows my sample rate okay control C will cancel Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is test the RTL SDR and check with the sample rate of 2.4 at a frequency of 97.5 and it's going to save to my home folder this capture bin file. And we can see here my tuner gain is set to automatic and it's tuned to 97 hertz right now and I'm just going to cancel that and if I go to my home folder there should be a capture bin right there and these files get pretty big so just double check alright that's a test if you just type in RTL underscore STR it should give you a, a few options you can change the frequency you can change the sample rate and mega samples per second or samples per second if you have trouble finding your device with the previous command you can set a dash D and one command it's normally at zero and that should pick up when it shows up as two devices that should pick up the other device this happens frequently in Windows there's a few other things we can do but these are going to be the main steps to make sure that we can save a sample file, some data, and bring it back. Make sure this is working. We're going to use this data next week.